All right, today I'm going to break down the arm over arm sled pull. So we saw in the 2016 CrossFit Games, the sled pull was part of a chipper that had a row, a bike, a ski erg, and some double unders. So we saw a lot of games athletes using ineffective technique. They had a heavy sled and they had to pull it arm over arm for about 80 feet or so. And because of the, the weight of the sled and because of the friction of the surface they were pulling on, it was ineffective to do a uh, hand over hand real quick technique. You saw a lot of athletes start out that way and then a lot of them moved away from it. And you also heard the announcer, if you're watching the live stream, unsure about what the technique was that was gonna be effective for this workout. Now, some of the athletes figured it out that it was gonna be more effective to do a big pull with both hands to that side and a quick regrip. And the way that you do that is you use your legs, you use your back, and you do a big reach with that back hand, and then another reach with the front hand, the lead hand, and you pull to that lead hand side. So for me, I like pulling to the right. So my left hand's gonna be the hand in the back, the right hand's gonna be in the front. Now, as I pull to my right side, I'm gonna continue that pull with that lead hand. So what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna keep that tension on the rope, and as I'm pulling through my body, I'm reaching forward with my back hand to grab the rope, and as soon as I feel the rope of that hand, I let go with that lead hand that's now behind me and get a hold of that rope with another big pull. So if you get the timing down on this movement, it's a real effective technique for pulling a heavy sled arm over arm, and you get to utilize those legs and back, and you can move way more weight with that friction on the surface, and you'll get done a lot faster. You know, burn out, you won't burn out as, your arms as much. And in 2016 CrossFit Games, they had the skier right before it, and which is a lot of arms. And before that, they had a whole ton of double unders with a heavy handle. So I guarantee these athletes, their arms were tired going into this. So it would have been more effective had they used their back and their legs. So you're probably wondering, okay, let me see what that technique looks like. I'm gonna show you. So here it is. I've got a heavy sled. I'm pulling on a rubber floor uh, with a diamond plate uh, pattern. So I've got a lot of friction. A lot of friction on the mat, and I've got 250 pounds or so on the sled. So here's what it looks like. All right, so I pick up the rope. Now the key is once you have that rope in your hands, never let go. Don't let go of that rope, okay? Because now it's gonna be easier to stop. The sleds come to a complete stop, and uh, you gotta find the rope on the ground. You're just losing precious time. And this workout, if you look up the history and the scoring, it came down to like tenths of a second, and it was, it was stacked. I mean, you first threw, threw eighth place and some of those uh, uh, heats was really jammed up on, uh, on the time there. So you wanna be effective with that technique, of course. So here's what it looks like, again, the two hands, back hand and lead hand, pull it to that right, right side, because my right hand's in front. So here we go. That was about 40 feet in about, I don't know, five seconds. So give it a shot, guys. Let me know how that works out for you. Get a heavy sled. You can make these, they're real cheap. Get some rope. Put a lot of weight on there. Real good workout for the arms, legs, back. Get your heart rate going. Give it a shot and uh, comment below and tell me how it goes. Thanks.